Okay, this is busy. I'm back again. We are going to do the uh, permanent magnet portion of this test, just like before. Um, I have the permanent magnet motor hooked up to the base of the shaft here and started running it. And once we get this up to speed, again, we'll let this go for a period of one minute. And after one minute, we'll turn it off and see how long it goes to a stop, similar to the uh, wound field motor. Um, it's going at a pretty good clip right now, so we will stop it again when the second hand on my watch uh, makes it up to 12. Okay, we'll let it go for one more minute after that, and then we'll shut it off. Like I said, the motor or the uh, the uh, wound field motor that I had before was actually from a uh, blower, uh, a Jabsco blower, which I took off the uh, the blower part to use. The motor actually went, runs fairly well. Uh, not much torque on it though, but it, it does work well. Fifteen more seconds and we will turn this off, turn off the power to the motor. Okay, and we shut off the power to the motor. Still going at a pretty good clip, but it uh, seems to be slowing down a lot more, a lot quicker than uh, the wound field motor. Okay, 30 seconds. 35. 40, 45, 50, 55, 59 seconds it took for the flywheel uh, to stop using the permanent magnet motor. Um, so this is actually a different result than what I actually had uh, thought we would be getting, but it's something to think about when working on your watching machine.